it actually takes usually this tape will take off the pain mm -hmm. usually for most people the pain yes if they have pain with the Achilles tendon it's this is sometimes really like magic sometimes it's absolutely it's like a magic put it and it's taken Это рефлекторно действует на таран, что он возвращается в этот. But obviously, obviously, think about it this way: if you are like this, then your subtalar joint is moved to end range down here. If you bring it back, you may take off the pressure from end range of the subtalar joint. That's a possibility. It makes sense. Возможно, когда вы стопу уводите наружу, да, то вы снимаете напряжение с пуптаранного сустава, и, соответственно, может это так работать. But I personally don't know if, if this biomechanically affects that so much. I, what I know from experience is for some people, when you put this on, they come in and they're very tender around the Achilles Achilles tendon. You put it on, and they feel much better immediately. And after a few days, they have no pain or very little pain. Ну и многие люди, которые приходят ко мне в боли в этом месте, через несколько дней вот после такого тейкирования говорят, не болит. And it may not work at all. Then you know that it, this is not a problem. This is not the problem. There's something else. Then you're going to test the joint. Or posterior impingement is very common in this area. So, but that's, we deal that with this, with this sports course more. So. Yeah, two days. And if they need it, give them one, two days break and to put it again for two days. Yeah? Break for another two days. At least one day break for the skin ah, to give the skin some rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I don't need to say that everywhere you tape, you put protective material. Especially areas where the skin is thin. Okay, here, here, some areas where you have thick skin, like the dorsum of the hand. It doesn't matter so much, or the dorsum of the foot, it's usually fine. But wherever you have arteries and close to the skin, you don't want to put tape directly on the skin. То есть мы скорее накладываем под тейп на те области, где близко артерии, вены, это очень нежная кожа. She puts a piece of tape under the medial arc. Lift up yeah, a little bit, lift it up. Like, like this? Yeah, hold her. Yeah, she puts a piece of tape under the medial arc. And she, she gives this piece to the patient. So she can hold this one. Have a look at this. This is really, really nice tape to facilitate for movement. And she, she teaches the patient to lift the medial arc and help it down. Relax, lift it and help it down as a home exercise. This is a wonderful exercise for people who has been into a pronated position for a very long time and have no clue how to activate these muscles. Mm -hmm. So this can help them because <coughs> it's an active assisted movement, okay? And it's a very nice thing that a person can do for a while at home to get this kind of feeling to lift up. Because what this does, it usually also corrects the pronation. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I would advise you to try it when you see, it's usually young people who have problems falling like this. They, and when you tell them, lift this medial arc, they don't know what to do. It's just, they're not getting the idea. And now, you put a piece of tape here, and you ask them, Lift the middle arc and pull gently with that's it, perfect, and down again. It needs some uh, patience when you do that. So you have to do it slowly so they get the idea. Yeah? Lift it up, slowly, perfect, stay there, and slowly down, and lift up again. So you can play with that. You may want to move the tape further back, okay? Or, or forward, so cuneiform, navicular, wherever you think the problem is, you may want to use it to change the tape position, okay? 
That's it for this part. Используют вот тейп для фасилитации обучения, да, того, что пациентов с гиперпронацией стопы, обучение вот этого движения, для того, чтобы они чувствовали, как поднимать внутренние свод стопы. Вы можете приклеивать чуть-чуть, ну, центральнее, ближе к пальцам, ближе к пятке, в зависимости от того, что нужно от пациента. И вот так медленно обучать. You want to keep this point still, this point still, and this point. You want to keep these three still mm -hmm. and just lift the ass, that's it. That's the move. Okay, can you film this from there? Keep these two still and the heel still, just lift up a little bit and down. This is what you want to do, so she can help herself here with the home exercise. Having some pain at the, in the muscle area here, okay? So up on your feet and she's getting pain in this area when she's doing that. Put it down. I can test that, I can push the muscle to the lateral side and say, try to get up on your feet. Ah, that still hurts. I can try a different angle, try. Oh, this is pain-free, okay? If you get something like this pain-free, you can easily tape it. Put the tape on the medial part here. Push the muscle and bring it all over. At the front, it should stick to tibia. So, start with this saying that the person may come with pain here when coming up on her toes. Uh, да, если у пациента боль здесь при подъеме на носки, на носок, Push. мы можем отодвинуть uh, часть мышцы в одну сторону, oh. протестировать как движение pain стало free. лучше. Take a piece of tape. <coughs> Берем tape. И фиксируем его в сторону уменьшения боли. И прикрепляем к большой дерцовой. Если это убирает боль, значит хорошо. Можно использовать два слоя. You, you got the idea. You tape from the side of pain away. This is a way to remember it. You tape away from the side of pain. If the pain is here, usually you're going to push it that way. If the pain is here, you're going to push it this way. So if you have, turn sideways. Stand sideways. Now, shin pain. Okay? Pain here. Mm -hmm. So, if she's having pain here while running or standing on her toes or, you know, jumping or whatever, she's getting pain over here. Yeah? You can tape it in, in exactly the same way. So, you're going to push the muscle away from the bone here. Put it here. Pull. Bring it round in a spiral motion to tibia the other way. This is your. This would be your tape for shin pain. You're gonna push the muscle just away from the mid, uh, lateral border of tibia. Okay. So you're gonna push it this way. You cannot make it round. That's why you're gonna go like this and make it spiral, and it comes back to tibia, from the muscle to the bone. Got it. In uh, Russian, I do one more in Russian, you say it in Russian. So shin pain after running or something like that. Start with the muscle. And bring it round. So that's the muscle component. This is the tibia component. And that should take some of that. Okay.